across the back row and on the wing. We've been testing out that scenario. That's good. Hold out. He has been electric for Stade Francais so far this season. Up now. Incredible athlete. It's one. Dupont for Dante. Yeah, good work, thank you. On the charge is Makalu. Such a dangerous attacking player. Jolly Bear for Penno. Penno overloading the left side. Dupont for Makalu. Jolly Bear accelerates. And on his shoulder is Piatto Mubaka. Mubaka going for the line. And the replacement hooker scores. I'm happy with everything here, guys. McAlew with the instant impact, the ball out the back. Charlie Bauer takes the ball to line, a magical offload. A finish by that man, Movaka. Thank you. And there's the break, takes on two defenders, sucks them in. Two magnificent finishes from Toulouse forwards in Flamont and now Movaka. They are total rugby players at Toulouse. You're seeing why they've been so successful in the club game. Wonder whether it's going to be a similar move that sent Jalibert in for the score with Fiku as the first receiver on the left hand side. Fiku looks ready, Pano's coming around, he's going to oh. get the inside ball. Pano setting off and scoring. So good from set phase again. Fabian Galtier all over this with Lauren Labi. Dupont serves up. We've seen the Jali and Tamak partnership over the course of the first couple of weeks of the Autumn Nation series. Galtier deciding to go in back to the tried and tested method with a single fly half in the ten roll to allow Dante onto the field to. Popped up as first receiver there. Oh! oh the intercept for Pernod. Pernod is going to go under the post for France. And the Stade de France is absolutely enraptured with the winger. But that interception might just be the home fans' favourite. Oh, what a moment. Well read again by Damien Pernod. Saves the overlap. They're under real pressure. Jumps out the line, plucks the ball out there. <laughs> Look what it means to him and to this French crowd. And as a consequence, the defenders next time up will be aware of the options that they've got. Oh, oh the break from Luku feeds inside to Oliver. Sean Oliver, Captain Fantastic, goes over for another try. Tracking up that inside channel. Look at this, jinking, weaving. And then the simple stuff done well, 2v1. Yeah, okay, perfect. Charles Oliver. Oh, it's the man on debut, Blake Shoup. McWright, good hands. Matt Phillip, and he's lost that forward. Here's Dante. Guess what the French might do now. Have a crack at this Wallaby defence. And Jalibert's looked exceptional with ball in hand. Since the break, it's Kuyu to Fiku, just one man on the right hand side, which is Penno, and just one man to beat ahead of him. Is it going to bounce for Dabby? Yeah! Penno! What a World Cup booster! This performance has been for France. Fiku looks the width. Australia again defensively appalling on the edge. Damian Penno. The kick, the chip, the chase. The pace to finish. Thanks, man. The French fans are on their feet again. A lovely piece of rugby by the Frenchman. Piatto Movaka scored five tries just three games a couple of Novembers ago. And here's Walkie, such a sensational line out forward. And off goes Jonathan Donti. Once more, Jalibert for Gabriel Villiers! Perfect for Villiers! And the man they call the electric Matt Stick scores again for France.
Thank you. Absolutely hissing. Again, it's Dante challenging that gain line. The quick ball around the corner. And Matthew Jalibert, three on three, numbers on, but ops to go. Execution absolutely perfect on the small cross field kick, the take by Gavin Villiers. Absolutely class. Australia punished again. It's fair to say that the French fans over recent months have been enjoying a party at many of the French international occasions, but the atmosphere here has just got a little quiet. <laughs> Georgia unable to get the line out right, so this could be easy ball for France. It's Entamac, it's on to Jalibert! Cameron Wocky so athletic, the turnover comes. The ball straight out of the back. Again, that 10-12 axis singing, easy stuff. And he strides over. A late bloom, as we say, 30 years of age. Zola! Threads it through. Yamanaka anticipates. Does get tremendous height on those kicks. Jalabert with plenty of time though to field. Gets a good weighted kick and takes the ball. Jalabert looking, gets the support. He's only been on 30 seconds. Chalabert can't get there though. France suddenly with a visit into the Japanese 22 and options are plenty. Makalu feeds it out. Peno scored two tries against Japan. Sat up beautifully for Mathieu Jalibert, who danced his way around one, two defenders. Chalabert just didn't quite have the legs, did he, to get to the line? And then Dante, well, Makalu just toying with defenders. Damien Pinot, a grateful recipient. Looks to try and get as much distance as he can on that. Entomac is there with Jamine to his right, and he's going to play away to his fullback. Jamine cutting back infield. Pinot trying to get there and help support his fellow back three man. Antonio looking to try and bounce through Brody Retallick. And Dupont will play again. And Tamak with a bit more depth to Dante. Dante Fiku outside. Pano inside. And Pano manages to straighten. And Pano towards the 22. All the work to do on his own as his teammates rush to try and support him. Dupont picked up from the ruck. France having to work really hard to try and reactivate that front foot momentum. But Pano brought them right up to the All Blacks 22. Dupont looking to the left, Wokey snatches it away, having had it popped up. France just losing their shape a little bit, but Fiku wants to take up the cudgels. Off to the right once more, the carry from Willemson. Big man in the second row, and arriving late is Villiers. And New Zealand are calling players down to this side, Antonio will be the dummy runner, and Tanak will cut inside and score! His last try was against Ireland over a year ago, but Ntemak is scoring against the All Blacks. Taking on that physical challenge on the gain line and getting change over the gain line, so hard to stop. And what a finish by Roman Ntemak. I've given the try, Sam. I've given the try. I've given the try, Sam. Sam Whitelock is remonstrating with Wayne Barnes, but... They're asking about a pass, but I'm all happy, I'm all in line. It was a moment after Pinot's initial run where it just looked like it might be dying, didn't it? But France did so Thank well you. to reinvigorate the attack. They did it from nothing, really, again. Craig Darton, low drive through from Ikitao. Hodge sends it down the middle. Jalibert. Oh, it's lovely footwork from the replacement. Back to his feet. Dupont is there, having just retired in sufficient time to be the first man. Dante with the carry. Jolon. Campbell is calling numbers down to this near side. Taufi Fenua, Jalibert wants to float it over for Damien Pinot, who knows how to finish from this sort of distance. Oh. Damien Pinot! Oh, it's outrageous! Oh, 
now, fortunately for Rhys Hodge. It's a misplaced kick that's just allowed Jalabert to get on the front foot. And that ball over the top from Jalabert. Massive fend on the inside on Jock Campbell. He's taken one right in the face. And Damian Pano, you can't stop him from there. Brilliant finish from the Claremont winger. France don't know when they're out.